Yahweh gave the feast to Israel, and then the way Israel was giving the feast back to Yahweh, Yahweh said, I don't want these things. Yahweh said, I gave them to you, and then Israel gave them back to Yahweh, and Yahweh said, yeah, but no th thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Is that, are you seeing this? Yes. There's a problem here. And so the light had to come. Arise and shine. Amen. Go with me to Yohanan. Back to Yohanan 8. Back to Yohanan 8. Back to Yohanan 8. So for a thousand years, Sukkot was not celebrated. And Yahweh said that the day would come when he would come as light to give humanity access to supernatural spiritual light. And that day came on the eighth day day of Sukkot. All of John, Yohanan chapter 8, takes place on the eighth day of Sukkot. The entire chapter takes place. Yahweh said, I will send my light. What's another synonym for his light? His Mashiach, his anointed one. I will send my light to straighten out the leaven that is found where? In both houses of Israel. Jewish Israel and non-Jewish Israel. So what did Yeshua do? At night, he said, I, whoever comes to me, will what? Never thirst, will never be thirsty, and I will give him the rivers of living water. That's at night, on the last great day of the feast. But at dawn, he went back to his teaching ministry, and he sat down to teach some more. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. And all this took place on Shemini Atzeret. What happened on Shemini Atzeret? It was an annual Shabbat. The temple was thronged, it was packed with worshipers. Pat, you should have got there early to get a, a good location to teach the masses and to teach the crowds. Are, are you with me? Yes. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. But if you know a little bit about the construction of the temple, you'll know that his discourse, I want you to look at verse 2, at dawn he came into the what? Set apart place, and the people were c coming to him. Having sat down, he was teaching them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in, in the act of adultery. So we know that Yeshua would sit in the outer court, listen, which was also called the court of the women, which is also where the treasury was located. Wow. He didn't go into the holy place because what? Because what? He didn't come to go into the holy place. He came to go into the holy of holies and, and, and to show his blood to the Heavenly Father in the tabernacle not pitched, not made with man's hands. Mm -hmm. Amen? So he, he was not interested in going to the holy place on earth right. or, or the Kadosh Akdoshim, the Holy of Holies. Is anyone with me? Mm -hmm. He was interested in bringing light, the light of truth, the light of salvation, mm -hmm. the light of correct doctrine, the light of the correct true ways, the righteous ways to worship the Father. Does that, does that make any sense? Yeah. So, could he have gone? Could he have gone into the, into the holy place? He could have, because he was the high priest over all Israel, but he hadn't risen from the dead yet. He had not been glorified yet. So he chose not to. He was going to enter a, 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 the holy of holies in heaven, in the, the whole, true holy place, not pitched with man's what? Hands. Human hands. Wait, is anyone with me? Yes. So, so he did his teaching in the outer court, because what happened in the outer court? That's where the outer court, where all the... The, the common folks would assemble for their annual Shabbat on the day of Shemini Atzeret, the last great day of the feast. Make sense? Yes. Make a lot of sense. Very, very, very simple. Okay. In Scripture, the number eight is symbolic of new beginnings. He sat in the treasury, which was housed inside the outer court, which was also within the court of the women, the common place for worshipers. He declared himself to be the light of the world, where? Among the common people. Whosoever will, let him come to me and drink of the waters of life. He said, I am the light of the world, Yohanan 8.12. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So he declared himself to be the water of life, the light of the world, which is a synonymous Hebraic idiom for the Moshiach, or the anointed one, and he did so in the common court of the people. And within the common court of the people was the treasury. That makes sense? 
Why do the Pharisees put the treasury in the common court? Because they get the most money. That would be, that would make sense. Nothing wrong with that. No sense putting the treasury in the holy holy place, because who goes into the holy place? Only the Kohanim. You're not, and you can't put the treasury into the holy of holies, because that would be an abomination to Yahweh. So we can't blame them. They put the treasury in the outer court. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. But also, as part of the outer court, there was another section called the court of the women. And there was another section called the court of the Gentiles. Totally an abomination to Yahweh. Because according to the word of Yahweh in his Torah, when someone tr believed in Yahweh and the sacrifices for their covering of sin, their atonement of sin, not their remission of sin, but their covering of sin, they became part of Israel. You with me? So in the original tabernacle, pardon me, in the sukkah, the mishkan in the wilderness, there was the kadosh Goshim, holy of holies, there was the holy place, the makom kadosh, and then there was the outer court. And anybody who wanted to love Yahweh and worship Yahweh and bring the daily sacrifices came in through the outer court. Women, non-natives, non sojourners, foreigners, and if they hung around the outer court and did the prescriptions of Torah, they were considered part of the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. You with me? Yes. So this idea of converting to Judaism, I was talking to Letitia last week, this idea of converting to Judaism is insane. It's bondage, it's legalism. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to convert to Judaism when you already are Israel by the blood of Yeshua? Right. <laughs> that means you don't really know who you are. Right. That means you're entertaining something that you have no business entertaining. The cables are crossed. And when they do convert you to Judaism, what brand is it going to be? It's going to be their brand of controlling spirits and religious spirits trying to control you and mold you into the image of the Lubavitcher Rebbe as opposed to Yeshua. Yeah. I don't want to be like the Lubavitcher Rebbe, and I'm not called to be like the Lubavitcher Rebbe. No, no. I'm called to be like Yeshua. I'm not called to have pay right. longer than the Hasidim. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, could you move my monitor a little more this way so I can hear myself? I have a problem. I've been trying to hear with myself too long. <laughs> Just move it back a little bit. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Well, it's better than hearing voices in your head. If I got to choose between hearing myself talk and hearing voices, you don't want to be hearing voices. Turn to your neighbor and say, you don't want to be hearing voices in your head. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. So, in the original tabernacle in the wilderness, there was the Holy of Holies, there was the holy place, and there was the outer court. Who, do you, do you want to worship Yahweh? Yes. Do you want to be part of Yahweh's people? Yes. Do you want to love Yahweh with all your soul, mind, strength, and heart? Yes. Come on in. Come to the outer court. Bring your sacrifices. You believe that the blood sacrifices will cover your sins? You're covered. You're part of Israel. Come join us for the Passover. P.S. Don't forget to become circumcised. Are you with me? How did you become Israel? You had a desire to become Israel. You became Israel. What are you doing going to an Orthodox Jew for conversion? What are you doing going to an Orthodox Jew for lessons? What are you doing going to an Orthodox Jew for instructions? You should be going to Yeshua, the ultimate Orthodox That's Jew. That's right. And here are only instructions Yahweh. you ever need. Yahweh. Are you with me? Yes. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. So Yeshua sits himself down when? On the great eighth day. And why was it packed? with disciples. Why was it packed with students? Because it was the Shabbat. It was the annual Shabbat. It was the eighth day of Sukkot. It was a Shabbat for Kol Yisrael. Of course he was the Messiah. He taught on the festivals of Yisrael. He didn't teach on Easter. He didn't teach on Christmas. He didn't teach on Ascension Friday or Fish Friday or Lox Friday or St. Valentine's Day. He taught because he was Israel's Messiah. Naturally, if the light's going to shine upon Israel, he's going to have to teach during the feasts of Yisroel. He wasn't a Valentinist. He was a Yahwist. Turn your neighbor and say he was a Yahwist. Well, Rabbi, I don't believe in this Yahwist. You're trying to, trying to push this stuff in my throat. Really. And in Yohanan 17, he says, Father, I have revealed thy name that thou hast given me. Amen. He's revealed it. You've got to come by revelation. 
Then you'll stop saying Jehovah Lord and God when it comes by revelation. Amen. Not because I told you to do it, but because Yahweh Amen. is convicting you. Amen.